Welcome to the second part of this video tutorial. In this part, I'm going to be looking at recording the voiceover and then doing a rough edit. Most video editing packages have voiceover facilities built in these days, and mine is no exception. I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro, but don't worry about the specific operations of the software, I'm not here to show you how that works. I just want to give you an idea of how I'll be constructing my video. Before we start, you do need to know that over here is where the individual assets will go, and you can see that I've already imported them and sorted them into their own folders, known as bins, video, images, and audio. This icon here is the sequence, which is represented down here on the timeline, which is where the actual video will be assembled and edited. Video goes above the line and audio goes below, I'm going to record my voiceover now into this panel, like so. When I'm ready, I'll click here to start rolling. Hi, I'm Joe Mills and I'm studying T156 Digital Film School. I work for the Open University. When I'm not at home, my favourite place to be is Catalonia, Spain, especially Barcelona and the surrounding area. My main interests are photography and music. I play bass guitar and keyboards. I also love making videos and I run my own production company. In T156 I'm hoping to get out there and create some fun videos. I hope it will give me a chance to discover new approaches to my filmmaking. Great! You can see that the new voiceover has appeared as an audio clip in my timeline. It's bunched up onto the far left of the timeline at the moment, but we can use this slider to zoom into it. That's better. If I move my mouse up here, I can get a quick view of how long the sequence is, which will also tell me how long the audio file is at this moment. You can see that it's just 32 seconds long. I'm not looking at this blue control here, so let's move that out of the way for a minute. There we go. We're pretty close to the rough timing that we did earlier. The blue control is our playhead, and we can drag it around the timeline to wherever we want. As I drag, you can hear the audio as the playhead moves past it. Let's go to the start of the audio clip and play it. Hi, I'm Joe Mills and I'm studying T156 Digital Film School. I work for the Open University. When I'm not at home, my favourite place to be is Catalonia, Spain, especially Barcelona and the surrounding area. I'm going to start constructing my video by inserting my visual assets onto the timeline here. The first section of the audio is my personal introduction, and for this I want the photo of myself. Coming over to the assets here and looking at the images, I can click each one and look at this preview window up here to find the correct one. Here, this is the one I want to use, and I'm going to drag it straight onto the video track of the timeline. I know it's not going to be long enough, so I'll extend it over a more appropriate time, and just check that it fits with the audio. I work for the Open University. When I'm not at home, my favourite... Hmm, I'll just extend it a bit more. The next thing is a photo of my favourite holiday destination, this one here. I'll drag it down, play it to check the correct timing, and extend it accordingly. Let's speed up this bit. I'm adding the other photos and checking their duration fits. The next section is where I want to add my little video clip. There's an alternative way to insert clips into the timeline, which is by selecting and double-clicking them. The clip will open up in the source viewer here, and we have some extensive play controls. You might see some playback issues over here, but don't worry, this is not a critical problem at this point. I'll select this 10 second segment here, find the right place on the timeline, run my own production company there, and drag the clip down onto the second video track. I'm using the playhead to judge where the end of my clip will be, and it looks like I've selected too big a segment, so I'll just trim that down a bit, lining it up with the last image in the timeline. Let's play that. Keyboards. I also love making videos and I run my own production company. In T1... OK, we have an issue here because my clip audio just cuts in and sounds a bit awkward. I've put the clip on track 2 so that I can get some separate control over the audio here. Using this control I can mute the entire track. If the speaker symbol is gone, the track is muted. Let's play that now and see how it sounds. I also love making videos and I run my own production company. 
in T156, I'm hoping... Brilliant. The audio track has gone. Okay, for the next section I'm using some of those GVs, and I wanted to do a simple lights camera action sequence here. Here's my lights clip. I've already highlighted the suitable segment to use, and I'll drag it onto the same track as the previous clip. And repeat for the other clips. Let's play that through. I also love making videos and I run my own production company. In T156 I'm hoping to get out there and create some fun videos. I hope it will give me a chance to discover new approaches to my filmmaking. That's looking good so far. I can also check the length of the sequence again, and it's still well within the time limit. Now we have a basic edit, I'm going to insert my music track onto audio track 3, so that I have separate control of it, as before. Here's the track. If I click on it and go up to the preview pane, I can play it to check that it's the right one. That sounds great. With audio, I prefer to drag and drop from over here instead. Let's play that through. I'm Joe Mills and I'm studying T156 Digital. Next, I need to create some intro titles to go at the very start of the video. We'll fast forward through the process here. That's my completed title, and I'll close the dialogue. The title appears here in the project pane, and I'll simply drag it down onto the timeline, and play it through. Hi, I'm Joe Mills, and I'm studying T156 Digital Film School. I There's an issue here because it looks a bit awkward. I always prefer my titles to precede the main content, so I'm just going to move it over to the left. Excellent. For me, I think the title's a little too long, so I'll trim it to make it a bit shorter. I want to move my music back so that it starts in time with the titles, so I'll drag it back there. Hi, I'm Joe Mills and I'm studying T156 Digital Film School. That looks and sounds great. There are some fine edits that need doing to the audio. In the next video, I'll show you how to create some simple credits and also how to export and upload your finished introduction to YouTube.